Hi, this is uh, 10 Walks That Explain Everything. I'm Nicholas Walton. This is the uh, second of the 10 walks that I'm using to explain the Netherlands. It's quite an astonishing country when you start to wander over it, right in the northwest corner of the European landmass. Um, this second walk is in Zeeland. I'm walking across what's known as the uh, Delta Works. It's the third of the four short videos that I'll be making across it, uh, about it. Um, and I'm at the minute, this is a, a bit of an artificial island in between sections of the Delta Works, which are the big engineering constructions built to keep people's feet dry, in effect, especially spurred on by the disastrous 1953 floods. Uh, it's an engineering marvel, but it's also a bit of a natural marvel. This is an artificial island. You can see mussel beds growing shellfish out there. Uh, there's some kids playing around on the sand over there. The other side of me, going back that way, there's actually something of a of a kind of theme park, uh, very Dutch. Uh, kind of here, have a look at some engineering works. Uh, have a, a bit of a, a look at some nature. I think there's some sea lions and a few rides that kids can go on, uh, and no doubt lots of opportunities for purchasing um, uh, beer and chips and other things that the, the Dutch both love and do so well. I mean, look at it. Day like today. You know, there's something really incredible about the Dutch countryside, or about the Netherlands in general, because you have, it, it, it's so artificial, and yet some of it has a, an ethereal beauty you don't get anywhere else. You've got such big skies that remind me of back home in Northumberland. Not entirely certain what this sign is warning about. Something to do with a caterpillar, but it's a very strange name for a caterpillar if it is one. You know what, they're becoming a bit of a commonplace everywhere, the, these wind turbines, but when you get up close to them, you uh, get a sense of just how enormous they are. I just looked up at this one from the base, which is just in front of me, you see it there, and honestly, it gave me vertigo. Look at the size of that. Look at the size of that. Quite amazing, quite amazing. So here we are, this is the third section of the Delta Works behind me and I won't say mainland, that's one of the other islands there, but not one of the artificial ones. This is one of the, the islands that used to lie in the, in the estuary, the Skeld and the Rhine and the Maas and the river systems like that that empty here. Uh, it looks fantastic on a map. Um, but the Delta Works, uh, in the last video I was talking about 1953 and these destructive floods. 1954, the work began on these. Uh, it didn't end until the late 90s cost billions, absolutely billions of guilders, as they were then. You know, this, this thing is more than a mechanical structure. This is about a feeling of security for the Dutch people, and a feeling that whatever nature throws at them from the sea out there, over there, whatever nature throws at them, they're equal to it. Having said that, there's more to do. There's climate change, uh, sea levels will rise, and they have already started projecting just what will need doing, not just to this, but to the dike systems on the, uh, you can see the, the shoreline of the next island there. You know, the dikes and the, the natural ones and the, the man-made ones that protect the interior of the Netherlands and the system of polders and so on. Um, but I'll deal with climate change in the next one of my walks, which is going to be up in uh, South Holland, because um, we're looking at environmental stuff and, and the, uh, the agriculture system. Fascinating. But the next walk, which is the final one of these four walks, uh, four videos of this second walk in Zeeland, I'll be talking about the political system that actually keeps this going, because it's not just about the engineering that the Netherlands has got right. It's about the politics that it's got right as well. This is the uh, 
area that I've just walked from. This is where all of the mussel beds are in this area here. I walked along this bit and, I mean, it's ugly as sin, look at it. And yet it's one of those weird landscapes that uh, somehow, you know, you find them in the Netherlands, but they're quite captivating in their own way. Um, you know, you have this bank, this asphalt bank, you surrounded by all of these uh, seagulls. And then you've got, actually, when you look close, tiny little flowers and moss and trees in the sand dunes. And the edges of the sea here, where all the asphalt meets the sand and the stones, it looks like lava from uh, one of those lava flows that you see from Hawaii, where it's all sort of solidified and, and dried. It's always something to see always something to see. You've just got to have the right type of mindset in the Netherlands. It's not all going to be, well, it's not going to be Switzerland. But if you're happy with that, there's a ton of things to see.